Today we will show you how to paint Oni from Nozor's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys, this is Nisa from Den of Imagination. I have a tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be Oni, painted by one of our painters, Agnieszka. This is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! The paints that we are going to use are Azure, Black, Chaired Brown, Dark Blue, Flat Earth, Gun Metal, Red Ink, Violet Red, Dark Prussian Blue, Sun Yellow, Turkus and white. Hello and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we are going to paint the model of Oni Female Speed Series. So, let's start. We are gonna start with the base coat on the pants and the skin because we will use the same color on both of them. For the first step I am going to use dark Prussian blue color and round brush size 3. With the base coat layer we can choose between two ways of doing it. We can paint our base coat with one thicker layer or with two or more thinner ones. On this model I am going to paint with more than one layer because the model is primed with light color and to achieve the deepness blue of dark Prussian blue color I will have to add another layer of paint anyway. Acrylics are paints that depend very much on the color of the surface, so if we would use black primer, I would need to apply less layers. Remember to mix your paint with a little bit of water. It will make it more liquid and thanks to that easier to work with. Of course do not add too much because then the paint will not attach itself to the surface. For now, I am not worrying myself that I am going to overpaint something, but still I am trying to avoid the hair and the bandages on the chest as much as I can, because I will need this bright primer color for later. It is easier to make the first layer thinner than the second one. In this way, we will avoid unnecessary texture. Sometimes it's worth planning ahead what parts we are going to paint and in what order to adjust the steps of our painting process with the colors and techniques that you are going to use. For example, if you are planning to use dry brush, it is better to make dry brush first and paint the rest of the model later. Or if you are going to use one color on more than one part, adjust your painting to that idea. While the layer with dark Prussian blue is getting dry, I am going to paint another segment of the model. Take black color and with the same brush start to paint the skirt. The base coating part is a very important step and I really advise you to take it slowly. Do not rush your hand and always be sure that before you will apply the next layer, the previous one is completely dry. Acrylics works the best on the dry surface and while adding another layer on the still wet paint, you can take off the previously painted layer as well losing the smoothness of the surface. So take your time and paint the model carefully, trying also to get inside the recesses as well as you can. If your paint doesn't want to flow between the segments, you can make it more liquid. That should help. Be careful while painting the underskirt. Because the base is attached to the model, it may be quite difficult to reach the deeper areas of this part. With the black color, paint also the base, shin guards and the shaft of the spear. Now we will highlight the pants of the Oni. Take dark blue and white brush size 6. We will apply dry brush technique. For this technique you should also prepare a clean and dry paper towel. Put some of your paint on the palette. Dip the tip of your brush in the paint and then wipe it out on the paper towel. When the brush will leave like a mist effect on the towel, you are ready to begin. Start to stroke the chosen part like you would clean it from the dust. 
With gentle and repetitive movements, you will gradually start to build the layer of the color. We will use it as our under layer for glaze. Now that we have a good basic layer of highlights, we can make another layer. Take azure color and mix it with the dark blue used in the previous step. Change your brush for round brush size too. Add some water to your mix to make it a little bit more liquid to have a half transparent paint. Then clean your brush and dry it out on the paper towel. Afterwards, take a little bit of your mix paint on the tip of your brush and apply a thin layer on the folds of the pens to mark the highlights. Wait for it to get dry and then apply another one. By adding more and more azure to your mix, create a gradient of color on the pens. Remember to cover less and less surface while you are making a lighter shade of color. At the end, you can use clean azure to add some blicks or lining. Next, we are going back for a dry brush. Take violet red and white brush size 6. We are gonna make highlights of the skirt. The rules stay the same. With a dry brush, take a little bit of the paint and wipe it out on the paper towel. Start to apply it on the skirt. For dry brush technique, it is very important that you are working with dry tools. Dry surface and dry bristles are crucial. So do not wet your brush with water. Just take a small amount of paint with the tip of your brush. But not too much, because the paint is still a liquid and it may make our brush too wet. Another very important issue is that your brush needs to be not only dry, but also clean. So while changing the colors during the dry brush, you should clean it. You can clean it with water, but then you will have to wait for it to get completely dry. If you will start to work with the wet bristles, you may create smudges on the surface of the model. To clean your brush, you can use other cleaners that get dry faster, or prepare for yourself a few extra brushes with familiar size to change them between the steps. While you are dry brushing flat and smooth surfaces, try to make your movements slower and as gentle as you can, so we can create a sleek layer of color. Now with the same color, we will apply the glaze. Take round brush size 2 and mix your paint with water. Let me explain now why we are using the same color for dry brush and glaze. One of the flaws of dry brush is that it always weakens the color. So, even if we are using the same color, the layer done by glaze will always seem to be brighter than the one done by dry brush. And also, acrylics are paints with which to get exact color saturation, you need to have a specific color of the base coat. While the glaze may be very challenging in the beginning because you need to learn how to control the right liquidity of the paint, dry brush with its weaker color makes a perfect base for brighter glaze. In this way, we are easily building nice color graduation. Now take the color white and mix it with violet red. With the same brush we are gonna add some lining to make the light on the skirt even stronger and to mark some details. Use the tip to draw the lines on the folds of the skirt and small blicks on the fringes of the hem of the skirt. If your paint does not flow down, add more water to your paint. 
the same with the tip. If the tip starts to split and you do not have a clean line, dip your brush in the water. To have more control over the paint, clean your brush before using it for lining. Dry it also on the paper towel because the water holded by bristles may flow down the model and make some stains on it. Before going any further, we will paint the base. Take white and the black paint and prepare the white brush size 6. With a different brush, mix those two colors on your palette to get light grey color. Then with dry brush technique, apply it on the base. If you want, you can add some more white and create a gradient on the base. Be careful to not overpaint the legs of the model but if you do, don't worry because we can easily apply some dark Prussian blue to cover the marks. So now it is time to highlight the skin. Take turquoise color and wide brush size 6. We will start by applying the dry brush to prepare the under layer of shade of the color. The dry brush will also emphasize the sculpture of the model and thanks to that we will see more clearly where we should concentrate our glaze. And so, after dry brush, we proceed with glaze. With the skin, it is better to start with the thinner layers. We want our skin to be as smooth as it can get. Mark with it the muscles of the Oni.
After this, take white color and mix it with the turquoise to have lighter shade. With the same technique, apply it on the skin of the model. While applying the glaze, cover less surface than with the previous step, so we will have gradient of the color. Concentrate yourself on the peaks of the muscles and joints. The same as with the base, create the light grey color from white and black paint. With the ready mix, paint the hair and the bandages. If you overpainted some of those parts during previous steps, you can use it to make the surface even. Pay attention if you will have to add some more layers of this color. To highlight those parts, take white color and with glaze mark the hair and the lines of the bandages. Try not to paint the recesses between the segments, so we will still have grey shadow between them. White color is sometimes problematic, so remember to shake it well and to mix it well with water to not have some lumps in the paint while painting.
Now take dark blue and round brush size too. Paint with it the belt of the Oni. Use the tip to not overpaint other parts. Take azure color and with round brush size too, add lines on the folds of the belt. Afterwards, take azure and white and create a lighter shade of the color. Add some more lining with it to create more light in this part. While the belt is drying up, take azure color and with dry brush technique, add some highlights on the shaft of the spear. Choose one or two places to concentrate the light. With gunmetal color, paint the blade of the spear and the metal end. But before we start, with a big clean brush, wipe off eventual dry brush dust from the model. It may stick to the surface if touched with bare hands. Give this layer time to get dry.
Now take black paint and mix it with a lot of water to make it very liquid. We will use it as our wash on the metal parts. After mixing your paint with water, clean your brush and wipe it out with a paper towel. Only then take some amount of the just created wash and apply it on the metal parts. Take chaired brown and paint the sandals. Afterwards, take a clean white brush size 6 and use chaired brown to cover the shin guard with a dry brush layer. Next, take flat earth and apply it on those parts of sandals that are exposed to light directly. Afterwards, take sun yellow and add some blicks and lining.
a black color again and paint the claws of the Oni, both on the hands and feet. Paint also the areas of the eyes and mouth for us to have a nice shadow. Then take white paint and add some blicks of light on those clothes and both eyes and the mouth. Now take some yellow and add it on the eyes and teeth. have better access to the eyes, you can turn around the model to match your dominant hand. Take red ink and add it to the mouth. And for the last, take black paint, mix it with a lot of water and with a very sharp tip, carefully paint the pupils on the eyes.
and the oni is ready. Thank you for joining us on this one guys, I hope you liked the video, I really liked the finished results. We are really curious about your results too, so tag us, Zenith Imagination, in your social medias and share your results with us. And don't forget to smash the like button and let us know in the comments section what you think of it. See you in the next one, bye bye!